Hi, Bethany Basilian here from the Ottawa City Piping College. I'm gonna get you started on your journey of being a piper. So now you've got your practice chanter. You've bought it at the store, and now we're gonna learn how to play the scale on it. So this is what we're gonna do. You take your chanter, and you're gonna use your right hand on the bottom and cover the four bottom holes. Thumb lightly on the back. Light touch, very light touch. That's why you practice with your chanter resting on something. The top three holes, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and the hole in the back, that's your high A hole. Put your thumb there. Now you're ready to start. All right, I'm gonna show you how to play these just by fingering it, and then you're going to practice it every day until you get it right, and then every day after that to keep it right. Here we go. Lowest note is your low G. It should sound low. sounds slightly off because the low A is the next note up. The low A, first letter of the alphabet, one finger off the chanter. We'll see what I mean in a sec. That's your low A. The B is the next one, two fingers on and two fingers off. Then you have a C, which if you notice, the finger is act like an arc, just like a C. And then you have a D, which is the next finger off, index fingers off. So the only one left on is your pinky and your thumb for balance. When you move to the top hand, you'll take off another finger. That's your E. Then you have an F. Then you have a G. Those three again. E, F, G. Your little finger's off, mind, when you're doing any work on the top hand. And then you take your thumb off, put your ring finger down, and that's your high A. Here's your scale. Now, notice the photo at the end of this video is going to be the scale. I want you to copy your scale out. Those are the notes that we just play up to the top and back down again. That's what you're going to practice. All right, this ends lesson one. Now go practice and have fun.